Blood Bowl is the legendary game of fantasy football where the rules change, sponsors chase the best teams and star players, and new competitions emerge. But what has actually changed for you with the release of Blood Bowl 3? In the single player mode of Blood Bowl 3, an agent decides to take you under his wing and give your team financial backing. This means you can recruit players and enter the clash of sponsors by competing against the best teams in the old world. This competition brings together the best teams sponsored by the most influential brands, and the players include the biggest stars like the legendary Griff Overwall. As some of you already know, 12 factions will be available at launch. Some are already well known, like the Dwarves and Dark Elves, but brand new factions have also been added, such as the Imperial Nobility, Old World Alliance, Chaos Renegades, and of course, the Black Orcs. Many others will be added later, and all will be available in the campaign mode. A Kraken, unbearable heat, insect swarms, the new dynamic pitches hold many surprises. In certain situations, these pitches transform during the match and change the rules depending on the scenario. For example, if you score a touchdown in the first half on the Dark Elves pitch, the crowd will cheer, which wakes up a monstrous sea creature that will rage for the whole of the second half. Be careful with your players, you will need to adapt your game because they're more likely to fall and will have trouble getting back up. Blood Bowl 3 is based on the new rules of the board game. The biggest change is undoubtedly the introduction of the passing statistic. Passing the ball is no longer linked to a player's agility, but to a player's passing ability instead. Catching the ball is still based on agility. Some players don't even have passing ability, which means that if they try to pass the ball, they will automatically fail. But they can still hand off the ball to an adjacent player. This significantly changes the game in many ways, especially for teams with high agility who could previously pass to anyone in their team. New rules means new tactics and new ways to dominate your opponent. You will also find new skills such as defensive, which allows the player with the skill to counter the guard skill. This changes strategies in many ways as guard is one of the key defensive skills. Throwers and runners also have their share of new skills. There's running pass, which allows you to continue an action after making a quick pass, and safe pair of hands, which allows the player with the ball to place the ball on any square if they're KO'd. The player leveling up system has also been completely redesigned. Simply put, it provides much more flexibility and spreads out level increases within the team as the cost increases with each level. It's now more desirable to keep a certain level uniformity within your team to avoid paying exorbitant XP to upgrade your favorite player. In addition, choosing a random skill is half the cost of choosing a specific skill, and increasing a characteristic like strength or agility is expensive. There are many other new features in Blood Bowl 3, such as player and team customization, the arrival of a season system, or unique models of star players, for example. All these new features will help each coach stand out from the crowd, with new mechanics that enable new tactics, new pitches, and lots of factions. You can therefore flaunt your own distinctive style in the old world during the clash of sponsors and against other players in multiplayer modes.